Uh, Scott, I want to begin with you. You've dubbed this the, quote, Seinfeld Congress. Uh, how did the House and Senate become a show about nothing? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, you know, how did we get here? Well, we are operating in a divided government, as you know. Uh, we are in a presidential election cycle. Kevin McCarthy is operating uh, with the narrowest of margins, which is making his job as GOP leader uh, an extreme headache. And so when you put all of that together, uh, it makes things very difficult to get done, unlike the last Congress, which was one of the most productive. Uh, Jerry Connolly, the Democrat from Virginia, who you know well, uh, told me this past week that he's expecting this to be the least productive Congress in modern history. Uh, if you think about the way we started off this year, it took five days and 15 rounds of voting to just get a Speaker of the House. Uh, that has created delays upon delays. Committees have been sitting around trying to organize, you know, committee members twiddling their thumbs, uh, waiting for uh, committee hearings to begin. In one of the committee hearings that did start this week, uh, there was an hour long debate between Democrats and Republicans about whether they should start each committee hearing with the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, and that got into a, a really heated back and forth between Democrats and Republicans. Other committees are arguing about whether or not guns should be allowed in committee hearings. And so that is just sort of a glimpse of where we're at. Uh, this is, you know, there's gonna be a lot of partisan acrimony, as we know, heading into this uh, election cycle over these next two years, but uh, we're only a few weeks into this new Congress and things are off to a, a pretty rambunctious start. Uh, Tia, I, I wanna ask you about the effect of all of this on how the public views Congress. Uh, a recent poll from the Atlanta Journal-Constitution found two thirds of Georgia voters have no confidence in congressional bipartisanship. So what do you think Americans are expecting from lawmakers at this point? And I think it's sad to say Americans aren't expecting much. And we know that Congress has had low approval ratings for years now, but with this new divided Congress, but also people were watching the speaker vote. They watched that Kevin McCarthy struggled to become speaker and spent days kind of negotiating with hard right members. And now they're not expecting much to happen. They're expecting Kevin McCarthy to have his hands tied and they're expecting hard right members to be further empowered and they're expecting a breakdown in communication between a Republican held House and a Democratic led Senate. Now, Congress could take this as an opportunity to prove the American people wrong and say, we can come together, we can address the issues that the same polling shows that American people want us to look at, the economy, for example. Um, but. I think that most voters just don't have that confidence. As Scott mentioned, they're looking already at what Congress is talking about, particularly in the House, versus what their priorities are, and it's not matching.